Whew, guys, I am glad that Robot Hell is over. It has been a rough few weeks, and now we can like, finally sit back, relax, we don't have any events to do, just take it easy. Oh, I'm gonna need a stiff drink after all of that. Whew! Mm. Wait a minute. Oh no. Hey everybody, it's Wilbit, and we are immediately jumping in to Wormulon! It's a slurm event. Wizzy Wham Wham Wazzle. A Wizzy Wham Wham Wazzle to you all. Slurm demands on the rise, grab yourself a can while supplies last. There's a few new things here. Um, let's just look at the quests. We'll, we'll find it out the old fashioned way. I have office news so unimportant that I'm just saying it rather than typing up a memo. Henceforth, we won't be offering slurm as a beverage option. But we open at noon and close at two. You expect me to go that long without slurm? Those are like Emerald City hours, you guys. Longer! According to news reports from Wormulon, the slurm queen has vanished. And she's the only one who can secrete slurm. So you're screwed, you junkie! Ha 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 ha! It's funny when it happens to other people. I knew there had to be a downside to addiction! This is at least nice because the search for slurm task is a scant six seconds. That is a mistake. Hey Fry, you look different! Have you done something with your hair or the rest of your body? Uh, my posture's better since I quit slurm cold turkey. Also, I've been losing fewer teeth. Well, whatever it is, you look great! A full smile and everything. I assume in the future it's very, very easy to just put teeth back in? Dentistry has come a long way in a thousand years. Your words don't help! I'd give my spine and all my teeth for a sip of slurm right now! Yeah? I'm a little worried where this is going. Bender, do you have any old slurm lying around? I'm getting desperate. Ah, uh, sorry Fry, I couldn't finish my last can, so I dumped the rest of it in the sink. You what? I needed that! Uh, if you'd only told me that earlier, I'd have been happy to charge you $200 for it. Alright, we will be collecting Wumpus Berries and Royal Slurm. Wumpus Berries, if you were worried about not getting to click on things, the, the Incubots have been replaced with, um, Grunkalunkas. Oh, that's never gonna get the old to listen to. Grunka lunka dunkity dapping. You're going to be spending the next week tapping. Um, and then the tin royal slurm, which now this is interesting. One, that the slurm planet looks awesome. We got this cool the logo is hiding behind the planet now. But there's a cool logo. Now the nice thing about this map, outside of the fact that you can take anybody you want, there's no limitations, and they start out pretty easy. They're also really short. Look at this map! This is like the smallest map that we've had in a long- I, I don't know when- we have had some this short. It's been a while or it's been at the end of something like when we had um, that clamps map. Um, you can just breeze right through these. And they're full of career chips. They're all like this. They actually- you start getting a bunch of uh, peta chips and a bunch of the others, not just Terra's. They're gonna give you gobs of chips. The biggest problem is gonna be having enough cash to actually use them. Oh, and hey look, it's our friend Slurmo. Glurmo, actually. Glurmo. <laughs> Goodbye, Glurmo. The first time you go through this, you're gonna get a first-time completion bonus for each map. Um, 10 Slurm for the first one. It's gonna gradually progress up, and then you do get a little more Slurm for killing the boss of each area. Um, it starts at a, rec at a recommended level 5. Oh. There's only one way to solve this slurm drought, and that's by dipping myself into royal slurm and becoming a slurm king. But the effects of royal slurm are irreversible. You'll be a slurm king forever. So I'll have slurm and be fabulous. It's a win-win. Why didn't I think of this sooner? Probably because I'm not smart. Oh, and we get 25 grunkalunka berries for our trouble. They were called something other than that. I don't remember what. Sup, Bender. I'm planning on dipping myself into royal slurm and metamorphosizing into a slurm king. What? But you'll be hideous forever! 
It's a small price to pay for an uninterruptible supply of slurm. Small for you, maybe, but I'm your roommate. I have to look at you. And that lets us create Slurm Duke Fry. Maybe the ugliest skin that we've ever actually had. And that includes some some pretty rough ones. Notably, this is the first costume we've had that also did not appear on the show in any way. This is a brand new thing, a brand new plot. Yes, we are dipping Fry into a bunch of slurm and turning him into a horrific, horrific slug. Supposedly permanently. Uh, once you get enough of the royal slurm, which you can get just by running through all the maps. That's what I was talking about before finishing the map actually pushed me out through there. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a, a bigger look at that. There are six maps, the first one having a recommended level of five. You can actually breeze through all of these. They're not gated by levels. There's nothing you have to stop and do to get through them. You can just straight away start clicking through all the levels, and that's actually pretty awesome, but they get progressively harder. Uh, map 5 actually has a recommended level of 25, and map 6 has a recommended level of 30. And they mean it. It will kick your butt with a full roster of level 30s. So don't take that one lightly. Um, and if you've just started playing the game, you probably can't do that map at all. That is rough. Uh, my characters are actually a little behind here. And it, I'm going to have to really dig deep on some of this cash to get everybody all the way up to 30. Um, but we'll quickly go through and at least look at all these maps. There's not that much to show with the combat. Occasionally a Slurm Queen shows up or Glurmo shows up. But for the most point, it's just these really cute little Wormulon sluggy guys. And they all die really fast at these low levels. If you have anything even close to a team that can handle it, you're going to breeze through the starting levels. Yeah, a horrific Slurm Queen. She can't be that missing if she's right here. How missing can she be, Fry? Granted, I just killed her, so more missing than she was before. Third map drops 20 Royal Slurm, not bad. Recommended level of 15, still gonna be kind of a breeze. This one is kind of like, kind of like a cutie dog bone, or like a bow tie, I guess. Satellite of love. And we start getting these juicy triple peta chips. Like, these are gonna be worth Reclearing just for the chips. Goodness gracious. Alright, a good 25 there. That leaves us just shy of being able to get the Slurm Duke. And let's go ahead and look at number four. This is a required level of 20. This one looks kind of like a nice little, I don't know, like a yin yang. You start fighting five at a time, on Slippery Slope here. So the good news is, these first four maps are pretty easy, even if you haven't actually leveled up very much. Level 20, you should have some level 25 characters by now, unless you're relatively new to the game. In which case, this is gonna be a tricky one, just because of how much the levels ramp up. But by the time you clear this fourth level, you have a lot of slurm. So we can quickly build the Duke. Only takes six seconds. That's pretty nice. Let's enjoy. Mmm, mm, Slurm is back on the menu. By royal decree, you are permitted to tap me. Oh gosh. Hello, Fry. Or what's left of you. Hello there, Professor. Guess whom? Dry, is that you in that Wormulon body? My god, you're hideous! Sir, I am royalty now. As far as I know, being hideous comes with the title. Back in the 20th century, Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands drove men mad with terror whenever she attended a railway station opening. Okay. Um... So there's a lot of new things to collect. We have... Uh, slurm Loco, Diet Slurm, Slurm, and then those same things in even larger quantities. Um, and they definitely want us to level him up a little bit. I, let's just look at his task. Because I, I've seen this earlier, and it is just absolutely horrific. Just like, it's incredible. They've, someone worked really, 
really hard on this. My god. Um, the other part of that first quest is going to be placing the Royal Slurm Vat, which costs 100 Gronkalonka Berries. Um, that takes a while because they're going to be like the Incubots and only spawn in every now and then. I'm not sure what the rate is yet, every like four hours or something. You can also, of course, buy a Slurm Boat uh, for 150 pizza. That will give you some more Gronkalunkas every four hours. So I wonder if the four hours is how much they spawn anyway. That will get you your berries faster, which are used to buy not just the Slurm Vat, but also the Slurm Factory, um, which is going to be useful. I'm not going to get that yet, but I am going to look over here at the gorgeous Slurms McKenzie, our premium for this particular event. I'm sure you guys have been anticipating Slurms McKenzie, the guy with whom we all like to party. Um, let's get him. <coughs> we can put him next to all of our robot hell rewards. And he, of course, comes with his dancing girls. And this would be... I love that we actually have some sand. If you if you are building a monument beach, this is going to be a great addition. And you have some nice dancing... I'm kind of sad the dancing girls aren't characters we can get. Because I think they're hilarious. And I think females are a little underrepresented. But maybe the unnamed dancing bikini girls are not the most developed characters to bring out. I understand. Slurms! Talk to me! We do wham wham wazzle! God, I wish I was dead. <laughs> we do wham wham wazzle! I'm Slurms McKinsey, who's ready to party! Ah, uh, I am, but not with you. Cause you're dead. I saw you die on Wormulon to save me and my friends. That was the old Slurms. I'm a new Slurms! For a whole new generation of partiers. See, the original Slurm sold its name and likeness to the Slurm Corporation in perpetuity as a trademark. I'm a genetically engineered replacement with an even more binding contract. Let's rock out! Uh, after you first signed this non-disclosure agreement, do not tell anybody about all the things I just told you. Those things are tricky. Non-disclosure agreements, you gotta be real careful with those. And we can have him rock on. Um, most of his tasks are going to be helping you to get even more of the delicious royal jelly. So, if you are a low leveled and you do not want to have level 30 guys to cruise through all of those maps, this is a solution that provides you with more ways to get that royal jelly to buy more of those royal items. Uh, he's 300 pizza, it's a little bit pricey, but man is he tempting because he is... A cool character in a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses and he makes me feel cool and I want to use his product because if I do that and I keep drinking delicious non-addictive slurm mm, 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 then you know I'm I'm gonna be cool too and I want to be cool oh and he's a captain so we can use my captain chips once you've clicked enough Gronkalunkas to get your enough berries to get the slurm vat you can progress a little bit. What manner of foolishness is this, Amy? Instead of a Slurm King, I've been transformed into a mere Slurm Duke. Oh, plot twist. I guess there's a limit to how royal a human commoner like you can get. You dare insert a noble worm? This is rank treason. Off with her thorax! She doesn't have a thorax. As a Wormulon Duke, my first royal duty is to excrete more Slurm. Royal duty. <laughs> Good one, Fry. Duty? I see. Tis a defecation joke. It seems that with my title, my sense of humor has become more, hmm, refined. Hmm, hmm. Though I do suppose a laxative would be of use at the moment. Gross. So they want you to collect 50 more Royal Slurm. So maybe a reason to hold back on some of those other quests if you haven't yet. Because that's going to be kind of tricky to collect unless you're just repeatedly going through all of those quests. <laughs> also, annoyingly, he needs the Slurm Factory to actually make stuff. So again, you're going to have to collect 200 berries before you can actually press that and keep moving on with the mission. Uh, that's going to take us a while. I haven't done the math. But it's probably going to take you a day or two to get to this point, at least. Even if you're checking a little bit diligently. And it's time for some of the Robot Devil stuff to go away. 
All right. I can. And Slurm factory takes about four hours to build. That'll let us progress and do some other things for a little bit. Like leveling some more characters up to 30 so that we can actually get the rest of that royal jelly. And this is the, our next map. It looks kind of like a pair of lips. Neat. And the characters hit really hard here. They hit for like 500 each. So, brace yourself. On the last map, they hit for like 700 each. I'm actually rolling with my full scientist team here. Because at this point, I'm figuring just raw DPS. Seriously, as short as this map is, it is really grueling. And this is the 25 recommended path. Uh, I don't plan on doing the other path just yet. Because I actually don't have the cash to push the team that I want all the way up to level 30. Uh, from what I am told, it is actually, um, they hit about for about 700 each. And almost every character on that map is actually going to hit you first. Um, even with level 30s, you go second. So, I'm wondering if that's different if you have a delivery boy on your team. That maybe they're trying to find a way to actually make delivery boys a little bit relevant. That'd be an interesting one. I don't have a level 30 delivery boy. I don't know that anybody does at this point. Because that's a lot of resources to spend on one. Maybe I'll do an experiment at some point before this event is over. Um, good excuse to push a couple of the rarer delivery boys up to that point. If you have one, let me know. Because I am genuinely curious about that. I tell you, it takes quite a grind to get all 50 of the friggin' royal jellies. It might be motivation to not go completely nuts on those side missions yet, once you have enough to craft fry. Hey, but then we get a cool looking, definitely not Wonka factory, it is a slurm factory. And we can have fry spend half an hour Converting 10 Grunkalunka berries into slurm. So you will have to keep clicking those Grunkalunkas and then you can use those berries to, I guess, feed to Fry. And then Fry goes into the factory and he will make the slurm. And that'll take him about half an hour. The more berries you have, the more efficiently you can turn it into slurm and spend a while doing so. Rejoice, my friends! I have evacuated my first batch of succulent slurm, ignoring all of that stuff you saw earlier. That wasn't slurm. That was... something much more disturbing. That we're not going to think about right now! Your friends all just left to go vomit, but Scruffy will try some. Drink, brave soul, and if you live, you shall stand a tiptoe when this day is named and say, I was the first to drink Duke Fry's slurm. I'll be sure to add it to my Wikipedia entry. You're not allowed to add it to your own Wikipedia entry, Scruffy. Hear ye, hear ye. I hereby decree new flavors for the Slurm lineup. It turns out that whatever I eat ends up infusing the Slurm in my gut, so the flavors I secrete are infinitely customizable. What think you of that, Bender? Bender? Ah, uh, dear me, it appears I've petrified him with horror. So that brings us to... Dun dun dun! The secret character that we couldn't see until we activated Slurm Drought Part 5. Recruit Bev. Oh, she's free. But she's not free at all. She just shows up in for Oh, you dropped something there, Bev. What happened? She shows up in front of Planet Express, and you will need to create delicious slurm flavors. And this is our stretch goal for the rest of the week. The adorable, the gorgeous Bev. You have to make 36 delicious original flavor slurm. Mm. Mm. Not addictive at all. You have to make 36 diet slurm for those of us trying to watch our figures while being addicted. Not addicted. Mama's here now. And 36 
Slurm Loco. So, across the board, you are just going to make a whole bunch. You can make 32 Slurm Loco if you have a level, if you're willing to commit to a level 20 Slurm Fry. But, uh, oh, and the Slurm Loco actually are produced from other Slurms. So you're gonna have to like drink the Slurm and turn it into other stuff. This is a complicated process, but that's basically what you're gonna be doing for the rest of the week. Duke Slurm is pretty easy, and it's because you're gonna need his mechanics to do everything else. Otherwise, you're just gonna be logging in diligently, clicking on your guys, uh, hopefully being able to run some other missions, level up your characters enough that you can maybe risk that level 30 path. It's rough, let me tell you. Do not go into that with characters that are low, they will die. And defensive strategies do not work very well. You don't really have time to build them up before they just get nuked by the other characters. I recommend an offensive strategy wherever possible. Um, but for the most part, Bev is going to be our stretch goal. If you don't care about her, ignore this event. Pick up your free Fry character. Um, buy Slurms McKenzie if you like him or you just really, really want another captain in your party. As if we don't have enough. Um, I will probably, maybe later this week, actually discuss in larger amounts the, uh, Robot Hell event. There was a lot to sort through and I didn't want to jump into it immediately because I figured something like this might have been coming up. Uh, but for the most part, hopefully, hopefully this seems easy to me right now. There's a tiny little grind to get it to the point to where you can discover that Bev exists. But outside of that, um, I think hopefully this will still be a nice relaxing week. And we're getting a lot of chips to push into those characters. So if you have somebody from the previous event that you really, really want to start using, you've got the chips at least to do it. Uh, Nixon Bucks is going to be the flaw, the difficult part at this point. Uh, what do you think? Is this fun? Is this disappointing? I wish we were getting Glermo. I wish we were getting the Dancing Girls. That's just me. I, I, I feel like we need more ladies. Uh, but otherwise, I don't know. Kick back, relax, enjoy your week, have some delicious slurm, and I'll see you guys. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! You know, probably whatever event is coming up next. Maybe a Thanksgiving maybe just more of these week-long events. Uh, I don't expect another really big thing until Christmas, so hopefully we have a more casual time until then. Uh, let me know what you think. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.